Hi, I'm Gunnar Rola, musician, world traveler, and these are just some of the adventures that I've made in the moment. I love Alberta, and for whatever reason, I ended up visiting multiple times this year, but that's okay because there's so much to do. We've been horseback riding, whitewater rafting, took a gondola up to the top of a mountain. I even flew in to attend a music festival that was canceled due to rain. Of course. And most recently I teamed up with Tourism Calgary. They put together an amazing itinerary of all the stuff we could do with just 48 hours. Well, given the opportunity to do something completely new, there was one thing on my list for this trip and it was to stand on a glacier the Athabasca Glacier to be exact. To get there, we'd have to drive out to Jasper and the Columbia Ice Field. So my friend Mark and I packed up our car for a little road trip and we saw some pretty special things along the way. What? Welcome to the Rocky Mountains. Okay, look at this nature. <laughs> what is this? Hi. Oh, don't be scared. They're scared of me. We made a stop in Banff at one of my favorite spots. It's a Canadian themed restaurant called Took. I got some kind of Canadian dessert. This is some kind of bread pudding maple syrup amazingness made to order. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Is it gonna be hot? It's probably gonna be really hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. Tell me about this dessert, what's it called and what's okay, it? Pudding chumé. Okay. Pudding chumé, it's like this white little fluffy cake. I like yeah. put maple syrup drizzle on it, you bake it in the oven, and it's served with vanilla ice cream. And what's the history behind it? It's super Canadian, it's like one of the first <laughs> desserts from like the Great Depression. Yeah. Um, it was just like one of the most simplest ingredients that you could just put together and it just tastes amazing. And Change. now I'm eating it like it's a delicacy. <laughs> they were eating where they were like poor and had no food, but it's so but good. But it's just, oh, it'll <laughs> We went out to Lake Louise, which is probably one of the most beautiful and photographed spots in Canada. Lake Louise. Despite being such a popular tourist attraction, it's actually pretty calm and serene. That is until I got onto the water. Here we are on Lake Louise. So incredibly epic. Look at the water, it's so blue too. to go see a glacier. After that, we continued our drive through the Rocky Mountains, which I think every Canadian needs to do at some point in their lifetime because it's absolutely stunning. Of course, of all places to meet a viewer and fellow YouTuber, I met Craig in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. So after a pretty long drive, we arrived at the Columbia Ice Field and our first stop was the Glacier Skywalk. What's going on? We're walking to the Glacier Skywalk because they don't have parking on site. And we didn't want to take a shuttle. Because when you do this, you earn it. And you appreciate it more because you had to work for it. Do it! <laughs> oh my gosh. We are going to walk on the Glacier Skywalk. It's gonna be pretty high up. Glass bottom, glass bottom. <laughs> Woo! Did you hear about that glass bottom bridge in China that started cracking? Oh, shut up. It's just pretty sad to think about what this must have looked like five years ago, ten years ago. I just repeated exactly what I said, but I had to say it for camera. <laughs> and then it was finally time to see the glacier up close. So as we get off the bus today, guys, just watch your step on the way out. And of course, enjoy your ice tour today with Mike. Alright then. So I'm just gonna stop and you guys can say your prayers. <laughs> You're gonna see the magnitude of the wall and right and how steep it can become that right there. All these rocks here are protecting the glacier that is underneath us, so that is why we are much higher right now. So this glacier on the Athabasca Glacier, this measure measures about six to six point two kilometers long. And it measures a kilometer wide and then between 250 to 300 meters thick. Now this glacier is a very hungry glacier and its favorite snacks are human beings, so please do not leave the turnaround point. This 
trip made me think a lot about how beautiful and vast our country is and how much our environment is changing. That glacier is shrinking every year and we definitely play a role in that happening. It's an experience that not many people get to have and it's an experience that I won't soon forget. There's one more stop in my cross Canada adventure and that is Vancouver. So if you want to see that episode, don't forget to subscribe and if you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. À la prochaine.